2020 is over and it is time to figure out what my top 10 sneaker pickups were of this year. I started to go through all my sneakers and realized, bruh, I've been picking up a lot of stuff. Next thing you know, I realized I done picked up almost 30 pairs of Air Jordan 1s alone just this year. So instead of giving you guys my top 10 sneaker pickups of this year, this video is dedicated specifically for my top 10 Air Jordan 1 pickups of 2020. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification for every time I upload a new video. And I appreciate you guys as always. Don't forget to hit that like button because that helps the algorithm oh so much. So I ended up picking up a bunch of different Air Jordan 1s throughout the year and I'm excited to show you my entire Air Jordan 1 collection. So stay tuned for that video. But today we're gonna go over my top 10 Air Jordan 1 pickups of 2020. So I'm gonna start from number 10 and work my way up to number Number one and I'm gonna rank this category based off of the shoes that got me the most excited that made me so happy when I purchased these sneakers and the ones that just made me feel good by having these in my collection so I'm not basing this video off of hype or value but actually how much I just truly appreciate these sneakers so starting with number 10 I know this may be shocking to a lot of you guys but it had to go on my list the black patent leather gold Air Jordan 1. Bruh, if you haven't seen the previous video with me reviewing these, make sure you go check that out. That gives you my entire opinion about this shoe. But I had to put these on my top 10 list. I really love the shoes. Some people call them Doc Martens. Some people's hating on them. Other people love them. It is what it is. I bought these for me and I'm happy to have them in my collection. And they're definitely ranking at number 10 on my top 10 pickups of 2020. Next up at number nine is a sneaker that is oh so clean. And I was low key debating ranking this a little bit higher. I love this colorway so much. And that is the Court Purple 2.0 Air Jordan 1. I ended up tripling up on these. Bruh, this shoe right here is so fire. I really like these a lot. I was so happy to be able to get three different pairs for retail when they came out I knew they were gonna go up in value and I definitely knew that I wanted to have multiples in my collection because I definitely see myself throwing these in the rotation switching it up a little bit with the color and you know really hitting something different in the rotation throughout the years so that's why I wanted to have multiples for myself and I'm very very excited to have these and for those of you that always think I'm lying here's three pairs there you go next up at number eight I think this is a very controversial placement on my list for a lot of people because I know a lot of people are ranking this sneaker very very high but I have other reasons why I like other sneakers more and I really like this shoe a lot as well the mocha Air Jordan 1. I want multiples of these. I was only able to get one pair and I need to get multiples of these because I need this in my rotation bruh so neutral so clean a lot of people talk about the Travis Scott da, 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 all that I don't care this shoe is what it is it's dope as hell I really love this shoe a lot and I definitely need more of these. I was able to get these for retail and I was very, very happy about that. So I think maybe that made it a little bit lower on my list simply because I didn't have to work too hard to get the shoe. And maybe if I would have had to work a little bit harder, it might have popped a little bit higher on my list. But because I got them so easy, I think maybe that's partially why I ranked them a little bit lower. But again, this is an amazing shoe, 10 out of 10, great for the rotation, great for the collection, whatever you want to call it. I really like these. Drop a comment down below. Should I rank these a little bit higher? Number seven, this right here, I think is one of the the best quality Air Jordan 1s that came out in 2020 and that is the Midnight Navy Japan Co Air Jordan 1. These came out way way back in the day. I wasn't able to get my hands on a pair. I got the silver pair and I always wanted to have these in my collection even when I first started collecting back in high school and I just never ended up getting a pair, a solid clean pair in my size for a good price. I found out that they were retroing and I was like bro I have to have these. So I ended up getting a pair for retail off of sneakers app and I was very very excited about that because I didn't have to pay resale and honestly the leather on this shoe right here is fire bro like if anybody that has these in their collection you know what I'm talking about these are amazing they did a great job on this shoe and I wouldn't be mad if somebody doubled up or tripled up on a sneaker like this you could definitely wear this with a lot of fits and it's a clean clean shoe coming in at number six is a part of the same series and that is the Japan Co Air Jordan 1 now I had these back in the day I've had multiple pairs of these back in the day and I just knew I needed these in the current time today so I got rid of my old pairs from back in the day from yellowing and cracking and age and just literally beating them up and rocking 
from all the time. So to be able to refresh and get a new pair and have another pair for the rotation, great, great addition to the collection. I wasn't able to get these for retail. I ended up accidentally paying a little bit too much on StockX, but I have a feeling the value is gonna go up over time. And it really doesn't matter to me for this shoe in particular, because I love this shoe. It's gonna stay in my collection for a long time. And you're definitely gonna see these in my rotation pretty soon. Okay, we are halfway through the video. We are now into our top five Air Jordan 1 sneaker pickups of the year. Now, some of these are a little bit more hyped, a little bit more valued, and that is partially why I have them on the list because, not because of the hype, but the value played a factor because I wasn't able to get it for retail. So then I had to go and try to work a deal and get it, you know what I'm saying? I had to do, jump through a couple hoops, find a trade, do this, do that. So because of that, the hunt for the sneaker made it so much more satisfactory when I actually got the sneaker. And I think that's what made it so much more fun for me to pick up these sneakers and have a story behind it compared to just saying, oh yeah, I got those for retail, dope shoe, yeah, they're worth some money. So let's take it to number five. The Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Low. I got these for 300 bucks and I'm telling you right now that is an amazing deal and I'm so so happy to finally have these in my collection because now I can complete the set let me just uh, grab this pair right here you know what I'm saying so I have two pairs of these right here what I would like to have two pairs of these because this right here low-key is like a perfect rocker like you could throw this on with a lot of stuff it's a dark color so you can mess these up and clean them up real quick you know what I'm saying like I need a couple pairs of these so I got these for a great great deal I am looking for a used pair as well so I could throw them in the rotation but if I gotta rock these I gotta rock these because at the end of the day I got them for a really good price and I know if I wore them it's still you know it's not gonna be it that's a whole nother conversation but at the end of the day it took me a long time to get this shoe I waited I waited I waited and I finally got the sneaker if you want to hear the whole story about this sneaker right here go ahead and check out the video on my channel I posted that a while back I think earlier in the year and that was the story about how I got these shoes but very 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 excited to have these in my collection Next up is a dope shoe that I thought I never would have a chance of getting because I wasn't going to All-Star Weekend. They never love to drop exclusive releases here in Portland, and that is the New Beginnings Air Jordan 1. So I got the entire pack. So if you haven't seen the full review on these with the other pair with the airships, make sure you go check out that review on the channel as well. But these right here are so fire. I love the fact they went with the 85 vibes on the cut, the materials, the leather A1, and not to mention, this is a sample pair. Made it just a little bit better. I got a call from some people at Nike. They told me I was locked in and ready to go. So I wasn't mad at all. I already knew I was gonna get my pair. And that's something that made it so, so satisfying for me because because I was like, bro, I got no chance, I got no chance. And then next thing you know, I get the call and they're like, we got you, don't worry about it. And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. We are now into the top three Air Jordan 1 pickups, the ones that were the hardest for me to get, the ones that took me forever to get, and the ones that I got for amazing deals. And that's why they came in my top three on my list. First one is that black patent leather again. I know y'all be hating on the patent leather. It is what it is, but man. Man, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So we got this black patent leather gold Air Jordan 1 right here. And I'm telling you right now, bruh, these things are so crazy. I remember when they first came out, it was like this weird thing. What's going on? Are they releasing or not? Who knows? It was like, a, it was just so much weird stuff happening around that release. But anyways, I was able to finally get a pair for my collection and I'm very, very happy. I got these for a great deal. Shout out to my bro for hooking me up because he knew I wanted these for so, so long and I finally got them. Again, if you haven't seen the full review on these and my explanation and story to how I got the shoe, go check that video out as well. I will have everything linked down below in the description for you guys to check out all the videos for the shoes that I have made in the past. I think I've made a video for each and every one of these shoes individually if you guys want to dive deeper into the collection. Next up is a sneak that I haven't really posted and I haven't really shown yet, but I'm very, very excited to have these in my collection, bro. I've been trying to get these since they came out and I literally got these like not that long ago and I'm, bro, I'm telling you right now, like so happy to have these. Alele May Air Jordan 1. I love these shoes so much. Like I love rocking the shadows all the time and this is just like a premium upscale version and I need to do like a full detailed review of this sneaker because 
these things are fire, bro. Like anybody that has these in their collection, you know what I'm talking about. They did a great job on this shoe. So one of the reasons why this took me so long to get this shoe is they came out and I just didn't want to pay much over retail because I like to get my shoes for retail. I'm pretty frugal when it comes to cop and kicks. I know I get a lot of stuff, but at the same time, I need a good deal. So they came out and then next thing you know, the price started to go up and I'm like, I don't want to spend that much. Then over time, the price just shoots up and I'm like, why didn't I spend that much? So I'm like, bro, there's no chance. I'm probably never gonna get these. I gotta work some great deal. Miracle comes along and I finally get a pair of my collection. And I'm telling you right now, your boy is happy. I got them for a good price and I ain't mad at all. We are now on to the final sneaker, the big boss, the head honcho, the honcho camacho. I don't even know what that was. Either way, the Air Jordan 1 Chicago. Oh my gosh, 2015. Now you guys know I have another pair that I rock in my rotation, but I got these for an amazing, hello, deal. And I'm telling you right now, oh my gosh. Gosh, bro, I got these at the right time. I got these right before the documentary went up. Uh, I think it was like 300 bucks or two something. Two, I'm trying to remember. I made a video in the past about how I got them and how much I said, all that other stuff. So there's a video in the past if you want to check that out. But either way, I got these for such an amazing deal because the documentary came out after I got these and then the price just went stupid. And then they were like 1,000, 2,000 bucks. So, bro. Talk about the best cop of the year. And I, you know, you guys know my story. Like I tried to get, I've had so many pairs of these, but every time they were never my size. Now I finally got a pair of my size, which was the rocker pair that I had. And then I got this DS pair this year. And these are my size as well. And bro, cop of the year. One of the cops of the year right here. I'm telling you, bro. Amazing, amazing deal. So, so happy to have these. And man, 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 man. This is like, if it wasn't for these, none of those other shoes would even, like nobody would care about those if it wasn't for these. So it's like, even if I didn't get them for a good deal, it's like, you gotta put them at the top of the list. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, you just gotta do it. So those were my top 10 Air Jordan 1 pickups of 2020. Let me know what you guys think, man. I had a great time picking up a bunch of sneakers, making individual videos for all these shoes throughout the year. And I'm excited for 2021 to share my experiences with you guys, tell you guys what I know, learn and grow with you guys throughout this whole process as well. I appreciate you guys as always. And please, if you picked up more than, even if it's not top 10, top five, top three, whatever it may be, let me know what your top Air Jordan 1 pickups were of 2020 i would love to see the list down below in the comment section so make sure you comment a list down below as well i appreciate you guys as always you know i say that all the time but i really do appreciate y'all my name is dj i'm signing out i'll see y'all in a bit i'm gone hey top 10 videos coming my entire air jordan 1 collection my top 10 sneaker pickups of the year my top 10 other bro trust me we got some good videos coming stay tuned grab your popcorn i'll see y'all in a bit Yo, if you enjoyed this video and you want to make extra money or grow your shoe collection, I want to give you a free video with my three tips that were the most powerful that will help you grow your sneaker collection and make an additional $1,000 to $10,000 a month. All you need to do to get this free video is click on the first link in the description or the comment that's pinned in the comment section. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your email address and I'll make sure that I send you a video right away. And if you enjoyed this video, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I got to go. I'm gone. Peace.